What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing here today? Right now, I'm actually down south here in Delaware at the beach. Pretty much my plan here is to do a little bit of saltwater fishing, but there is going to be a catch. So right now, I'm actually at a little tackle shop here. This is actually my first time ever here. This is like the smallest little tackle shop I've ever seen. Let me kind of explain to you guys sort of what I'm going to be doing here. So pretty much about, I would say, a year ago, I uploaded a video where I went into Cabela's, asked random people, random strangers to help me pick out some stuff to catch some fish. It was kind of like a little challenge thing, you know? Like, I know what I would have chose, but it's just interesting, you know, seeing what random people would choose for you to go fishing now ever since that video i've been getting several requests to do that video again in like different formats and like salt water and things like that and actually that whole kind of topic took off i've seen a lot of people make similar videos of that but today we are here at this tiny tiny little tackle shop we're going to be going in there and we're going to get strangers to pick our lures to pick our bait here to go catch some fish in the salt water man this is going to be really fun as i said it's been a long time since i made a video like this and i just i don't know anything about this tackle shop i don't know if there's anybody in there i mean there's a bunch of cars parked outside so i'm guessing there has to be i don't know what to expect this is going to be very very interesting i think i'm going to strap the GoPro on my chest as I did in some of the other challenges that I used to do. Just to uh, kind of be a little bit more inconspicuous. I mean, it's not really that big of a difference. People are wondering then, like, why you have a freaking giant chest strap on. Hey, man, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't get kicked out of here. I mean, as y'all know, man, I haven't had the best luck with getting not not getting kicked out. So let me stop talking, man. Let's get right into this tackle shop. As I said, I've never been in here before. I don't know anything. I don't even know what you can buy in here. But let's talk to some strangers and hopefully they can get us on some fish here today. All right, y'all. GoPro mode engaged. I mean, it's kind of been a while since I've been undercover kind of like this. I think the last time might have either been the Craigslist video or the pawn shop video, one of those fishing challenges. Yeah, all right. Anyway, let's get over here. A little bait and tackle shop. Now, I don't have a certain number of things I want to buy. I don't know. We're just going to kind of check this out here. This is going to be interesting. Literally nobody in here. Oh, here's someone. How you doing, man? Good. How about you? What you do? Anybody catching anything? On the beach? Yeah. Off the surf. Some little snack with blue we caught there last night. Out on the beach, been kind of dead. Like if I fish off the beach, what would you like recommend then? Small hook, small bait. Like kingfish, spot kind of rig, little chunk of fish bite, tube squid, little chunk, little chunk of squid, little chunk of clam. I think squid be better. Hmm. Interesting. Right, this is not going as expected. There's only one guy here, and he works here. But let's see what we can do, man. So what? Uh, what size hooks would you recommend? Like exactly? Getting down, like something like this. Little kingfish rigs. Yeah. Some of them around. Some croaker. There ought to be some croaker out on the surf. Yeah. I mean, we're here about them being caught. Yesterday afternoon, we heard about a little snapper blue being caught. Two of these. Two of these. You said the fish bites, right? Well, if you're gonna go with that, you want this. Oh, the blood worm one? I have Okay. Incoming tide, do you think two ounces is good? Two to three, yeah. Get some twos. You want to get some box squid too? Um, Would you recommend? That'll work on the too. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and then all this stuff. You know what I mean? All right. Thank have you, sir. Have a good day. You too. All right, guys, that is not what I expected. All right, so literally nobody was in there besides the one guy that worked there. But either way, man, I still, I mean, I bought everything that he recommended. I only bought things that he recommended. So let's get out here on the beach. This is actually going to be a lot of fun, man. It is a beautiful day out here. It's a little toasty, but it's still a nice day. The tide should be coming in in about an hour or an hour and a half or something like that. So yeah, man, again, I mean, that did not work exactly how I planned, but it's still a stranger. He picked all of everything I picked out. So let's get over here to the beach. Let's enjoy today. Let's get some fish, man. All right, guys, this is uh, looking like a pretty good spot here. Let me put that down. I'm gonna put this guy kind of in the wet stuff a little bit. Tide is coming in, so I'm gonna have to move it. So I thought I bought those strip baits and then I also bought strip clam. I don't know if I, I probably actually paid for the clam, but let me tell you guys, when I looked in this bag right here, there is absolutely no clam. So that's a little interesting. If I do want to get clam though, it's good because there is like a little store. So pretty much I threw on one of these little spot slash croaker rigs. I'm just going to be solo rigging it for right now. Just throwing one rod out here. And this stuff, man, I use this in a video. If you guys want to check the first time I use this, you can look up there. Yeah, man, this uh, this stuff is really interesting. It's like, honestly, I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like gum. It's weird. It has like gauze in it. He recommended it. He said it's blood worm. I was going to get the other one that I got the last time, which was like sand crab. But he was like, nah, dude, get the blood worm. And I was like, all right, dude. Just kind of gave these guys a little cut with my nail clippers. All right, there we go, guys. Those are two things we're going to be using here. So as you guys saw too, he recommended two to three ounce sinkers. I got all two ounce. That should be good. There's not really big waves here, but all I'm going to do with this is just bring this guy here and just tail hook it just like that. I want to make sure I hook it pretty good too. So I'm going to hook it one more time through. These things are not cheap. It looks pretty good. If you guys aren't familiar with this type of rig, basically this floats right here. So it kind of holds it up. The sinkers there, this kind of floats up like that. Boom. All right, there we go. This is literally the bay. I mean, it's salt water. It's attached to like everything. So honestly, anything could be in here. It's just super shallow. And you can see people are walking out there. It's so freaking shallow. 
So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna see how far out I can go and hopefully I can get like a little sandbar and find a little hole or drop off or something. I can kind of see through the water. Like I, I see the sandbar over there with the polarized. So I think I'm gonna cast right here into the hole. Yeah, I'm in a hole right now. Dude, this has gotta be where these fish are unless they swim all the way out. I mean, I don't think. That was a bite. There's a little one. Oh. Yo, that's get, that's getting bit. That is oh, it's getting bit 100. percent That was definitely a bite, but now it's like nah. Ah, low tide is tough out here, man. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, dude. Literally, people are really, really far. Like, is that how far do you think they are out there? Like half a mile almost. Dude, they're like really far out. So this is literally like just giant sandbars everywhere, and I'm trying to find the pockets right now. It's interesting. I'm gonna cut these strips real small too, because whatever is taking it is just taking. It. I just want to see what it is. Alright y'all, so it's a little bit later in the day, we're just coming back out here again. The tide has risen and it's just, uh, yeah man, it looks like it should be pretty good. It's just like very, very calm and peaceful out here right now. Not many people, there are a few other people fishing, hopefully, and catch some fish. Just throwing the same setup here, Let's see if we can catch any fish here. Oh, this water is so warm too. Alright, let's see if we can do it here. <laughs> That's definitely a, something's biting this. I don't feel him on there. Oh, there he is. Is there something on there? Come on, please tell me I got a fish on there. I think there might be something. It's a little heavier than normal. Anything? Oh, what the? Ah! They'll come. They'll come, man. They'll come. Just gotta be patient. Thought that was the one though, man. Something was definitely interested. I think I might scavenge around here, try to find a sand flea. On this little rig here, I have two little floating hooks. I think if I put a sand flea on one of them, I would increase my chances a little bit of catching just something. All right, so if I come over here, the waves are breaking. I should be able to reach down and dig around. Hopefully find some kind of... Huh. That thing got bit again, dude. See, what is going on? It's like the weirdest bites, dude. Dude, this just got demolished. I think it should still be on it. Dang it. It's the thing. It, you never know. Especially fishing like this, it could just go off. Get a freaking megalodon, dude. <laughs> That's a bite, right? Yo, something's literally on this. I think. Maybe not. Something on this? Oh my god! First fish of the day! Yo, we caught a fish, dude! <laughs> Holy crap! Holy crap, it's a spot! It's a spot croaker! Guys, all day to catch this one spot right here, man. This is a spot croaker. These guys are actually pretty cool. That took so freaking long. Oh my god. I think we're gonna keep this guy for cut bait. We're gonna do some sharking here. I don't know if we're gonna do that today or not, but man. That's actually pretty cool. So if you guys remember a previous video, I was catching Atlantic croaker with the same kind of stuff. This is the bloodworm stuff though. I was using the sand crab stuff. But yeah, man, this is a tiny little spot croaker. These things actually look really freaking cool. And yeah, man, we're gonna measure, as I said, use it for cup bait, hopefully catch some giant sharks. And I don't know where your record button is. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if you guys can see anything or not. Like it's pretty freaking dark out here for the GoPro. This is an older GoPro too, but man, I cannot, like that took us so long and all we caught was that one spot. But I'm still happy, man, that's a fish. We kind of completed the challenge sort of. And then that's definitely gonna be used as bait. I'm gonna try to catch some big freaking sharks here. But yeah, man, that, I mean, oh my gosh. I don't know why this has been so tough today. I'm gonna see if I can catch any more here. Maybe there's a school of them around. Yeah, man, interesting stuff. Do I have fish? No. Oh, I do. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Are you a flashlight? What in the heck is that? What, what the, the heck? heck is that? Can you see it on the camera? Is that a kingfish? That might be a kingfish. Do you guys see? Holy crap. Can you see it like good on the camera at all? Like all the stripes and stuff? Yep. Dude, I think, that, I think that's what that is. I think this is a kingfish. That is so cool to end the night with something like that. Look at that little dude. Holy crap. I didn't even feel him on. Look at You see those patterns, dude? That's Holy so cool. crap. It's so I literally barely felt anything on. I got him right through his nose right there. It's All a right. good. It, it was good though. Like you could definitely see it. Yeah, definitely. 
Dude, that is so sick. We're gonna end the night off with that. That was so cool looking. Oh, oh. 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh Yeah, anyway, I know you guys can't probably see me, but that was pretty cool, man. That's a brand new species. I have no clue what that is. And we have bait for tomorrow. Kingfish. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to check it out, man. Whew, that is so sick. All right, y'all, it is now the next day, and I think this video, I just kind of finished up editing it a little bit. I think this video is like a very good uh, example of how things can go when you're trying to film. I don't know if that makes sense or not. I mean, as you guys saw, man, nothing really went as expected. I mean, from the minute we went into the tackle shop to the minute we stepped on the beach and we spent like the whole entire day trying to catch fish with the fish bites. That's what they're called, right? I mean, obviously, you guys know I'm not the best saltwater fisherman, but I mean, I still had a bunch of fun. It, it took like a long, long time. Many hours hours to get those two fish but I'm just I'm really excited that I got those two fish because one I have bait for today I'm gonna cut that spot up and use it as bait that's really good cut bait actually just fresh super fresh cut bait kept it in the refrigerator and also secondly I got on a brand new species I can cross that one off the list that is a northern kingfish shout out to my friend Dave for helping me identify it but yeah man definitely let me know if you guys like this kind of video you know going into stores and getting other people to choose my lures because as I said I know a year ago I made this video and I did it in Cabela's it was during trout season and then after like a little bit I saw just like so many people making the same type of video so I don't know man is it overdone would you guys like to see more of it let me know in the comments below but yeah guys I have no clue where that freaking squid went I tried to look back in the footage I don't know if he put the box squid down on the table I did I, I checked I paid for it so that is definitely uh that's a thing I don't know man I have a feeling if I had that box squid if I had some more lively bait I definitely think I would have caught some more stuff I don't know about that blood worm fish bites I mean I believe it works I don't know if I was using it right or whatever but eh. I don't know, man. Two fish after all those. I mean, we still got fish. That's us. That's, that's, we, we caught fish. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much going to be it here for this video today. I'm going to be down here at the saltwater at the beach for a little bit. You saw I was with my friend Zach, and we're actually staying at his place. But I am going to be doing different videos. That's why I'm not going to continue the video from yesterday onto today. I mean, I think I fished enough with the stuff that he recommended. I mean, I don't know, dude. Let me know what you guys think. The guy at work there chose all of our lures, a random stranger. And I mean, kind of worked, sort of ish. Before I even fished, the guy said, you know, his place is dead. So, I, I don't know, man. But yeah, man. Anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much for all of these support man it's just it, it means the world to me i know i say this all the time but it really really does mean so much to me it's starting to rain here too i don't know if you guys can hear that or not which is kind of weird because if you guys see it's like blue skies and it's i don't know anyway i really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this definitely go down there hit that like button if you have any suggestions for future videos definitely let me know in the comments below i have to finish this edit and then yet again go find wi-fi i mean i, I don't know how many times this summer i have not had wi-fi and I had to go to different places but i know there's a panera near here because last year we went there and I had really good Wi-Fi, so that is good. Thank you so much for all your support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You